Welcome back to another Toyota Land Cruiser video. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the transmission and the gearings on how to use it on the 80 series automatic 1FZ FE. In the USA here, most of the FZJ80, they all came in automatic. Um, the only one that are five speed or manual transmission are overseas Australia. So this is just for um, US ones only. So let's go ahead and discuss um, the gearings and how to use it um, because some folks might not understand it or might not know when to use it. This one has been modified with the seven pin mod and um, I will explain that here in a bit. Um, this Land Cruiser is the one that doesn't come with lockers but I have installed a Grizzly locker, which is an automatic locker in the rear differential, um, but that don't apply to anything, so don't worry about lockers. This is just about gearings. So on a normal automatic one, if you haven't done the seven pin mod, what will happen is that your center diff lock will activate only when you're in low gear. So right now we're in high gear. You have high, neutral and low this is your t case right here what is center diff lock center diff lock is where it locks the transmission so that the front and the rear dry line gets both equal power so this land cruiser all the land cruiser that i know of or the 80 series they're all time four wheel drive so that means that when you're driving normally your four wheels are spinning but even though you're all-wheel drive it's not a true four-wheel drive system until you lock your center diff lock so the 80 series all came with center diff lock but most of that only uh, most of the time that only activates once you're in low gear but what the seven pin mod does is that you remove one of the wires on your kick panel and that will allow you to not have the center diff lock in low gear or high gear unless you install the center diff lock switch so right now we can go into low gear and be on open still and then when we want to lock the center diff we can press this button and then you'll have a light on your gauge here that shows that you're locked and then we can also go into high gear and have the center diff lock on or off if you haven't done the seven pin mod you cannot be in high gear with your center diff lock on unless you have done that seven pin mod so i highly recommend you guys do that seven pin mod so that is the center diff lock scenario hopefully you guys understand that when you're off-roading i recommend you use your center diff lock lock it up so both of your front and your rear draw line both have equal power going to it the center diff lock, um, that's not the same as your front and rear locker. Your front and rear locker is a whole different ball game. You either have the triple lock or you have to install aftermarket locker. I will not talk about the front and rear lockers because that doesn't apply. So how do you use the gears? When you're driving in the city, driving on the highway, you're going to drive in high gear. You only have high and low. If you were to put this transfer case in neutral, and you were to put it in drive now, whether you put it in drive or reverse, if you were to give it gas, the vehicle is not gonna go nowhere because your transfer case is disengaged. So be cautious of that. So the next thing we have is driving in the regular city, high and low. You always wanna be in high gear when you're in the city. The only time you wanna use low gear is let's say you're off-roading or you're stuck or you want to have less wheel spin. Now, the automatic transmission works like this. It's just like your 5-speed. Low is usually 1. So you're, if you go into low, this means that you're in first gear. Second gear, D is for your normal driving, and that's considered your third gear. Now, if you're driving this on the highway, you have a overdrive. This overdrive button right here, when you press that, that basically lets your transmission kicks into fourth gear. So does that make sense? <coughs> so whenever I'm driving 
Actually, every time when I'm driving in the city, whether I'm on the highway or not, I always leave my overdrive on. I just press it in. I don't I don't drive it with off. And you do have a on your gauge, you do have a light for that too. So I always leave this on. Hopefully that makes sense. So we have first gear, second gear, third gear. Third, D, high is normal driving and your overdrive is newly if you're just driving in the city and you're not gonna go over 45 miles then yes you can just um, keep your overdrive off but if you have the tendency to go over 45 plus miles an hour then I would just leave the OD on okay now that's highway driving guys the other thing we also do have is a power button there's a light right here that says power right here if you were to press this button what happened is you will drive normally in the highway and all this power button is is just change your shifting point so let's say you're hauling stuff or you were just driving the city and you want more power you'll press this button and what this does is this allows the transmission to shift from first second third fourth at a higher RPM so let's say before you get to third gear it'll go all the way up so just play around I don't ever use this um, if you're running 35s or 33s um, people say that it's nice to run this it's just so you get you get the most out of your gears hopefully that makes sense <laughs> I have heard online that it does kill your gas mileage just a little bit more but I don't ever mess with it. The only time I ever mess with this is, let's say, if I do have a heavy load or something like that. And I might play with this power button on a full gas tank and just see how much my gas mileage is and what kind of performance I'm getting. <clears throat> so that's the power button. It's, all it does is just... The basic scenario is that <clears throat> it allows you to shift at higher points throughout all your gears. <laughs> so if you're towing stuff, you have a heavy load, or you just want more torque, you want it to be more peppy, you can have that on, all right? Nothing simple. If you're just a daily driver, soccer mom, don't even worry about it. And then you also do have the second button. This second button is where <coughs> your vehicle will be in second gear when you start. Um, there's a lot of scenarios for this second button. Most of the time, it's for like off-road related, so I'm not going to talk about it too much because you can manipulate it when you're in the actual gears. So that's driving in the city, your basic highway driving, high gear, power button, what is the overdrive button, etc, etc. Now let's talk into off-roading. When we go off-roading, let's talk about what we do or what gears you should be in. Let's say we're going off-roading, it's a dirt road, it's flat level. Um, we might be going like maybe 30 miles an hour. I usually will leave it on high um, with the center diff lock on and I'll just be in third gear, D3. And also I have my overdrive off because I'm not going to go over 45 plus mile when I'm off right now. So that's high, D3, overdrive off, center diff lock on. And then again, I have my rear grizzly locker which is activated on all the time. It's a mechanism. So that's what I do. Now let's say we go into some nasty stuff and I really need some traction. This is where true off-road, you wanna be in low gear. So you also, before you switch from high to low, you also wanna make sure you're in neutral or either in park, all right guys? You don't wanna, you don't wanna be in a drive go, in a drive or in reverse mode. So you wanna be in park or neutral. So we'll try park. So you can see here neutral and low. So that's low all the way back towards you. So now we're in low gear. So let's say we're off-roading, we're going through some crazy trails. <laughs> I'll have it in low gear, <laughs> center diff lock on. That'll be activated. <laughs> and then I'll be in D3. Now, if we're going through some nasty stuff, I'll be in D2. Or let's say this, let's say if we're going through some really slow stuff, let's say we have to crawl over some rocks or there's some crazy stuff, I'll be in low. So this is low, low, or I, I call it low one because it's low gear, first one, first gear. But let's say we're going up a hill and we need some extra speed. We don't want to crawl up that hill. Then I'll be in low two. 
so so this means that I'm in low gear and I'm in second gear. Second gear is the most. This what this does is this um allows for less wheel spin. You're not gonna be spinning your wheel up in third gear trying to get traction and digging yourself in. Now we're just going through some smooth terrain and let's say um, the terrain allows me to do 10 plus miles an hour. I might be in low gear on D on three on D, which is third gear. So that's how it is, guys. Super simple, super basic. Use low one for really slow crawling stuff. If you're going up, if you need a little bit more speed, then go to low two. Or if you need more average, more speed than that, then just go to D low three. And I recommend people play around with it, guys. <laughs> go find some terrain and just play around with all the gears. You'll see that when you're in low one or low two, you have way more torque compared to high gear. A lot of people go off-roading and they always stay on high gear and all they do is they just have wheel spin. They're just burning their wheels. When they go through a terrain, they're burning their wheels instead of getting proper torque and traction. So I recommend people go, um, people need to practice using low gear. And also when you do go on low gear on the 80 series, <coughs> um, your ABS is well, hold on. Let me talk, let me let me reverse that. When you do the seven pin mod, <coughs> if you activate your center diff lock, that will also disable your ABS, which is good. So keep that in mind. If you haven't done the seven pin mod, seven pin mod, and you go into low gear, that will turn on your center diff lock and also deactivate your ABS. But overall, anytime you turn on your center diff lock. Your ABS light will come on, which means that it's been deactivated. So don't let that scare you. Nothing's wrong with your ABS. It's just telling you that it's been deactivated. Once you turn it off, the ABS light will go off and you will have ABS again. So now we're going to go back to high gear. And that's it. That's a basic setup for highway news, off-road news. And that's really all there is to it. So now we're in normal driving condition. I'm going to be in high and I usually like to just keep my OD on, which means that we're on overdrive, so I can just hit the highway and don't have to worry about turning on and off. Um, whenever I'm going up a hill in the city, I do turn this off just so that I get more power, more torque going up that hill. But whenever I'm in the city or whenever I'm on the pavement, I don't ever run my center diff lock. The only time you want to run center diff lock is when you're on some off-road track, on off-road unpaved road, or if you're on like snow or something along that line. But if you're just doing regular sitting, uh, regular pavement driving, you don't want to run your center diff lock. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you guys got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And again, this is just a basic setup for the Land Cruiser 80 series. Catch you guys next time.